that we have an obligation and responsibility uh, uh, to do that. And I know that a solution is on the way, you know, but it's going to really require some resources. And uh, uh, I think that members of the committee here you know, might have to recognize that. And, uh, but at the same time, these kind of discussions are very, very important. On that note, I yield back. Thank, uh, thank the gentleman. Certainly look forward to working with him and his staff as, as we've always done so in a bipartisan way, uh, not just today in this hearing, but uh, as we go forward to continue the dialogue with the IRS and all interested parties to make sure we do much better in protecting American taxpayers, protecting uh, our citizens against this type of fraudulent conduct. Um, with uh, uh, ask unanimous consent to recognize a member of our Appropriations Committee, uh, including uh, you know um, one who serves on the committee with oversight over funding regarding the Internal Revenue Service, a uh, gentleman who's uh, had a good number of constituents also uh, uh, defrauded uh, you know by uh, by criminals in this regard. Uh, the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Diaz Bellard, uh, for uh, for an opening statement and uh, submission for the record. Mr. Chairman, thank you so very much. Uh, I want to thank you for first your leadership uh, and for indulging me um, for some minutes uh, this morning. I want to thank you. I want to thank the ranking member and the committee again uh, for your leadership. Uh, some of you are probably wondering why I'm here. Uh, well, some of you may know that South Florida has been one of the most affected areas. Uh, really in the country when it comes to IRS identity theft issues. And what you don't know, I'm sure, is that I, years ago, was also a victim of identity theft. Now, I was one of the lucky ones, and it wasn't the IRS issue that we're dealing with, but I can tell you what a nightmare it is to, to deal with if it does happen to you. It's bad enough uh, going through this traumatic event uh, of having your identity th stolen, but then uh, to find out that even a federal agency cannot protect you against identity theft, frankly, is just uh, is, is beyond disheartening. Uh, the fact that so many people uh, who this happens to uh, is, frankly, intolerable and unacceptable. And I think we can all agree that the IRS uh, has been slow, uh, frankly, very sl slow to respond, not only to the uh, in individual identity theft issue, but also just overall. Um, you know, Mr. Chairman, and you mentioned that, I, that I'm on the subcommittee that, that, that deals with the funding issue. It's obviously something that we're going to be also looking at it there. But before the committee started, Mr. Chairman, if I may kind of uh, say what you and I were talking about. Um, the Chairman and I were talking about how, you know, if you use your credit card and you go to a gas station that you don't go to a lot or you travel or you use it twice in a gas station like I've done when I'll fill up my tank and then I'll fill up my wife's tank on one credit card, you'll get a call from the credit card company. A red flag goes up. And it just happens kind of like regularly. And obviously, we don't expect the IRS to be perfect. Uh, but clearly, there must be a better detailed plan to prevent further fraud issues from taking place. And also, a plan, as the chairman said, to, to make sure that the taxpayers who have fallen victims to this issue are, are dealt with in a, in a quicker and more fair fashion. Um, I will point to you, Mr. Chairman, and, and members of this committee, that a journalist from South uh, Florida, the Sun Sentinel in South Florida, her name is Sally Kessing, has written several really, several really, really good articles on the issue. And I'm going to have my staff, uh, if that's all right with you, um, um, give it to the members of the committee. I think that they would, they, would, they would show you just how bad it is. And I'd also like to recognize, as the, as the chairman said, a constituent from South Florida. Her name is Sheila uh, Vosdogains. Uh, she uh, had fallen victim to this crime this I with the IRS, not once, but twice. So imagine that. It's hard enough to, to go through it once, but imagine having to go through it again. So the IRS was aware of it, and somehow the next year it happened to her again. So uh, again, it tells you that there obviously are not, uh, the, the, the protocols that are there are not effective. Uh, there, a, a lot needs to be done, and again, once again, thank uh, you, Mr. Chairman, for your leadership and this committee. She uh, was not able to be here today uh, to testify, but she has supplied us with her story in a very compelling written testimony. And I would very respectfully, Mr. Chairman, ask uh, to uh, allow me to submit uh, her uh, testimony to, for the record, if that's possible. Uh, without objection, so ordered. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. With that, I just want to thank the committee for uh, your leadership. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Chairman, for making this a priority issue. It is a big problem in South Florida. It's a big problem nationally. Uh, and as bad as identity theft is, when it happens with the IRS, and when uh, people who work hard pay their taxes, play by the rules, and all of a sudden their refund checks go to some crook, 
uh, it makes a horrible crime even worse. I cannot thank you enough for your leadership, and I thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. Um, just, uh, I guess, uh, housekeeping for everyone. Uh, we are going to recess now because we have uh, about 40 seconds left on the floor vote, uh, the first of seven. So the uh, uh, rest of the members and I will head to the floor, uh, returning with a, um, an estimated uh, start time again at 1.45. And uh, with the, um, the agreement of our first panel witnesses, we're actually going to flip-flop the panels, and we'll have the um, IRS Commissioner, uh, Mr. Shulman, uh, when we come back, testifying first, and then followed by um, our witness panel with uh, GAO and our citizens. So uh, we appreciate everyone's uh, flexibility and willing to work with us, your patience. And uh, thankfully, when we come back, we should have a long break before the next series of floor votes, which will allow us then to, uh, to get into this issue and substance. And as the gentleman from Florida said, to really um, you know, make sure um, that we do better by, uh, by all of our constituents, all of our citizens, uh, to protect them. So with that, the hearing stands recessed uh, to approximately 145.